Right, we're almost done. However, uh, I've been asked to read this uh, uh, holiday poem about Boxing Day, so bear with me. Twas a day after Christmas, and all through the league, there were positive tests and worry and even fatigue. Anfield and Molyneux, but also Turf Moor, were empty and silent behind their closed door. Fans were aghast that these grounds were shuttered, making the poor fixture list all the more cluttered. <laughs> Others tried in vain to have theirs postponed. Our gaffer, Patrick Vera, is positive, Palace intoned. But the powers that be were inflexible and firm, and Lucas Moore's performance made Palace squirm. Wilfred Zaha's two yellows before minute 45 were the nail in the coffin that sent Conte into overdrive. Yet Manchester City and Leicester were the talk of the day, and that was at the Etihad, nearly 200 miles away. Pep strikerless ballet bombarded Casper's goal, were he not a friendly ghost, he might have lost his soul. After 25 minutes, the score was 4-0, more than enough to break anyone's will. But maybe not these foxes, who already tasted a miracle. Madison, then Lookman, then Iannaccio, and it was lyrical. Guardiola looked up and saw it was 4-3. 25 minutes to go. Is that calamity staring at me? No, Pep, it's not. Because here's Laporte's header, and 6-3 from Sterling, who goes hell for leather. Out in East Anglia. Arsenal were hunting canaries. Pretty yellow birds, but hardly fitting adversaries. Arteta's men put five past a keeper named Gunn, whose afternoon, you'd imagine, was in no way fun. For the Gunners, the season started rather bumpy, but they're fourth on the table. No need to be grumpy, not least because Wenger would give a trophy for fourth, though these days arson into a FIFA man has morphed. And Tuchel, poor Thomas with his skeletal frame. It was Aston Villa way, not the simplest game. No Werner, no Havertz. Lukaku only fit enough for the bench. Pulisic, the striker. The first are goals he won't quench. But lucky for him, there's Jorginho from the spot. Not once, but twice, believe it or not. And big Lukaku, he was thrown into the fray. Scored a goal, won a pen. That's three points away. West Ham, we know, once won the World Cup. But that was long ago, so Hammers, please shut up. Twice they came from behind against Southampton, with big Fraser Forster looking like a whale eating plankton. But there's a reason Ralph Hasenhutl was once known as the Klopp of the Alps. He pushed on mercilessly and demanded hammer scalps. Saints won 3-2, but now they're mid-table. And for Moyes, it's just a smudge in his redemption fable. The night closed with Brentford away to Brighton. Frank with his second balls, Potter here to enlighten. The goals took flight and won 2-0. And it was Neil Mopé, the former B, the prodigal hero. So football returns after a holiday excess. Something to distract, something over which to obsess. To entertain us and keep the Omicron at bay, knowing United will make it forever go away. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.